Hey everyone. So I've had to stop by this morning. Just got up. Whew. You know, the old world will crumble at the same rate that we awaken. And that is why things are speeding up because the two energies are colliding with each other right now and it's creating that vortex and it's creating a tornado and it's going faster and faster and faster not that we are trying to gain control we're evolving and that's what they to me they fear the most is us evolving and understanding the criminal acts that have been we've been forced to uh, I don't know the word right now but be involved in we don't even know that it's happening so those are things that we need to think about in the in the future as we are designing and building our new our new world because that's what's happening right now and <clears throat> you know you've seen this in almost every video but it's important to show because this is who you really are now everything is backwards in here again so I'm gonna have to try to figure that out okay this is you, this is your aura, that circle, sun, earth, down here. And these are the vibrations that attune your body. And when you're out of tune, just like a guitar, the energy cannot play properly through your body. It's not in the right harmonic balance, just like a tuning fork, all right? And like a tuning fork, as you raise your energy, that vibration affects everybody around you. Just like the vibration, the heavy energy and vibration that is flooding over the world right now is controlling many people. But it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's to wake us up. We don't need to be afraid of this. We are atoms, we are the power of the universe. And what we're working on, I've said this many times, is the lymphatic system. And that's all that green area right there. And it's through every cell has a interstitial pathway. And the blood goes through and feeds the cell and the cells are just like us. They have emotions, they vibrate, they, and, and they are us, right? Well, they absorb that nutrition from the blood and the oxygen from the blood they digest and they eliminate just like we do and blood is only 20 percent of the liquid in your body lymphatic fluid is 80 percent of the fluid in your body and it is the sewer system that's what your lymph nodes are the little tiny septic tanks just like at your house and if they get full, then they can't function the way they used to and they start to get hard and they get swollen and all the different things that are happening uh, inside your body is from congestion and inflammation and chaos and confusion. And uh, it all goes back to what I've showed many times is these vibrations and disease in the body, no matter, no matter what it is, it can only exist in this frequency. And it destroys itself by moving to a different, whoops, I don't know where my other frequencies are here. By moving to another, don't I have another frequency here? I think that's one, yeah. By moving to another frequency. And when this frequency is in your body in the area that it's supposed to be and it's in harmonic balance if this was a disturbing disturbance in your body this one has to go away because you're now vibrating at a different frequency that's creating this pattern and you're constantly going up and down these vibrational flows through our light centers because that's all i can find is those now right 
<laughs> it's called life. It's called life. Anyway, I think I've got one in here. Maybe I don't. Okay. But as our frequency rises, we are changing the field. This is the electromagnetic field around the sun. I mean around the earth. And that's the earth's aura. And that reflects back on us our emotions, our traumas, our, our love, whatever it is. But right now the collective consciousness, which is that's you, but everybody has one of these. And it's all being uh, vibrationally sent out through to the electromagnetic field and it is basically the energy of the day and that's what people are drawing from and it's we've been so deceived and so corrupted in our thought patterns and and taken away from our ability to stand up inside ourselves and be accountable for our own actions we're looking always looking to pass it on to someone else and we do that because that's how we're brought up and we're brought up in a school system it teaches us nothing about life none of it is really applicable some of it is in the linear world where humanity has created the opportunity for it to grow but it's, it's no different than any virus was spreading across the land and, and we're manipulating or we're being manipulated by people in a higher power if you want to call it that they're only higher power because they say they are and we believe it we manifest their power into reality because they have no power And if we don't stand up inside ourselves, we have no power. And it's affecting that field. As it reflects back on the earth, it just feeds itself more and more and more. So, I just wanted to get that out. It came to me last night during meditation. Today though, I wanted to give that quick message. Today though, we're gonna do some Qigong. Let's see, I guess you can see my feet. Let's do some shaking. Yeah. Shake all that tension out. Because it's far from over. There's things I can't share with you that I see coming it's not that I can't little at a time I guess is the thing because you know the further down the rabbit hole we get sometimes the more nervous we get the more complicated it seems it's not complicated we work from here and it goes out into the universe and the universe does the rest not us We are energy, we come from energy, and when we leave this realm, that energy goes back to source. There is no possible way. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know if you can see him or not. No, I know you can't. Goose flying by, Canadian, Canadian goose. The reason they're dividing us is to keep us in little locked units like a like a cell and there are some complications that may be coming up for that that I'll get into later but it's all good it will we'll be fine but uh, you should uh, I would start gathering food that can last a long time. Maybe store some water. 
much as you can. And these are all just nothing more than a hypothesis right now. But it's better to be prepared. And I'm not a prep. I don't have all that prep stuff and a, uh, I don't even know what they call it, a, a go bag or something. <coughs> a bug out. I think that's what it is, a bug out bag. Well, if you're locked in your friggin' home and you can't go outside, that bug out bags aren't really going to help you much. Unless you've already left. So there's all kinds of things that, uh, that are going on right now. That are going to test us in ways we have never seen or experienced. And they're going to feel like the pressure is right on you directly. Well, it's not right on you. It's being projected at you, yes. But it's up to you to deflect it. That's why you have an energy field, right? It deflects whatever we are not interested in. Some stuff will get through because we're a vibrational match to it because we're out of tune. It's important to know that. So this is light energy running down through these energy centers. And they're powerful beyond measure. You know, I think part of the problem that's going on right now, why this is collapsing, is we're living longer. Before, before we could figure out what was going on in our lives, we died. So it was easy to keep the spell going, to get people to build their vision. And we don't need to build their vision. I see small communities all over the world now, much smaller communities. And, and it's going to take a while for that to happen. And there's going to be some havoc. There's going to be some real trying times emotionally, chemically and physically. Because chemically and emotionally affects us physically, right? And to maintain our center, to maintain our balance, is extremely, extremely important. And that, to me, is what this is all about. We're being tested to go to the next level. You know, everything is about birth and rebirth, and birth and rebirth. Energy wants to it doesn't want to. It constantly moves forward. That's what energy does. That's why we have children. It's the extension of energy into the new world. Those children are born into the energy of the day. And right now, these star children that are being born, and they have already been born, they're old, old souls. And they already understand when they're born the world that they're coming into. And they will be taking place of many people that are intuitive, insightful, that can see in the future and build it in the now, right now, right in this moment, right now. Me being here, this is in the now. Every breath is a recreation of our life. You don't just lose your breath overnight. It gets a little weaker and a little weaker and a little weaker and a little weaker because we're not paying attention to it because we're so hypnotized and mesmerized by all the crap that's going on in the world and all the crap we're being shown. You've got to turn that crap off. Step away or watch it as if you were an elite one percenter and you're watching the manipulation happen on video. They record everything. You think it was by accident that cameras were set up for 9-11 to watch it happen? There was a camera in one building 
and it was on the exact same level that the plane that was flying in was at, and it watched it fly right into the building. How would somebody notice that a camera up to do that? We are pawns in a large game of chess. And we're old enough now that we're figuring things out, and that's why we're dangerous. So we, we have to be careful. We have to know who we're talking to. We're going to have a foot in both worlds, in the breath world. Because breath, the air, is electric, right? Static electricity. You can scuff your feet on a carpet, right? That's energy. That's electricity. And we carry that in us. And we're losing our power because of shallow breath. That's the energy of the universe. And we're drawing it right into our lungs. Deep down in our lungs. The bottom of our lungs are actually down here. You know, when they inflate, they drop. And it pushes that diaphragm down. Extends the abdomen. Oxygenates the blood moves the blood, moves the lymph, and when you exhale, you're detoxing the lungs from all the gases and all the crap that gets stuck in them. Those are the things we need to focus on, not the crap that's going on out in the world. Wish I could tell you more, but we'll get to it as time goes by here, because I don't want to be too far out and have you worry about that? The universe unfolds things exactly as it's supposed to unfold. That's why we're awakening. The earth needs us. So it's waking up and is waking us up along with it. All our leaders have been, especially in the past few years, but for a long, 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 long time, polluting the air, polluting the water, and the land, which kills its ability to do what it wants, what it needs to. You know, as far as being afraid of the sun, I love this particular subject. Oh, fear the sun. It's bad. It'll give you skin cancer. No. Lack of hydration and vitamins and movement and Getting out in the sun is what causes skin issues. Our bodies can't function, they can't protect themselves because they don't have what they need to do it. And that's what's really important is that we understand we need to go inside. This is a universe in here. We have a left and right universe in our body that are connected through our electrical system. And uh, so when we breathe, we're activating that electrical system because we're drawing pure energy in from the air, from the electric field that is the electromagnetic field around the earth. And we're connected to that. And when we shallow breathe, we get weak. And we get susceptible to dis-ease because the body's not flowing. All those fluids are not flowing properly and it affects us. Let's take a, a really long, slow, deep breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Matter of fact, we're gonna do in through the nose, out through the mouth, and we're gonna do the lion's breath. So tongue out, bend over, get rid of all the air. And, uh, and rub your, this is parasympathetic, also called vagus nerve, who knows what else, because they can't give them enough names that way, you don't know what you're talking about when people say, oh, well, no, that's, that's not. It's all the same thing. Like high fructose corn syrup has about 20 different names hidden in products. Especially energy bars. I mean, it's all grains, high fructose corn syrup. It's amazing. And it's sold to us as health food. You know, there's a one species that mankind does not farm, raise, grow, 
that, eats, that is eating this natural diet. It's eating other animals. And uh, cattle don't eat other animals. They're vegans, like probably the ultimate vegans. But they also have more stomachs to digest things. So those are things we have to consider as we're going through life, right? If it's to be, it's up to me. Don't look outside the lens that you're seeing the world through is determined by your beliefs, your disbeliefs, your truths, your half-truths, and they're all made up. All of them. We have no, no more of an idea who we are than the made-up stories you see in the movies. It's incredible what's going on. And the only ones that can stop it are us, and that's why it's crumbling. It's self-destructing, and they're trying everything they can to hang on. All the money that the trillions that have been, the trillions that have been used uh, or scheduled for us to get, nobody's actually gotten anything yet. Uh, but that's going to large corporations. They're spending more than they're making. And they don't even pay taxes. They're just stealing it all. They give us and they take us away. And that's something we can't be afraid of. I had written in one of my things about if you was on an airplane and it was going to crash and you had a parachute, you say, hey, I worked my way into this plane. I paid for this trip and I'm going to ride this baby right into the earth. Or would you take that parachute, jump out and start over? Because that's exactly where we are right now. This is the pinnacle point. And we have to learn to let go of whatever psychobabble we have that we've been trained that's now being taken away. We're going into the information age, the industrial age is falling. And the more we understand what's going on in that cell phone right there, that's the power of the future, is that cell phone. But everything is gonna be recorded. Now there are groups of people out there now, and I don't know how successful they'll be, but I'm with them. They're trying to create a platform that is outside of that system. So it's gonna take a better mind than mine to figure that out. But it's gotta be possible, because anything is possible. future generation is not being fooled by this. They're in chaos, you know, you, you never hear about any other deaths now, but, but the one that they're focused on. But did you know, like, heart attacks and, and uh, deaths from cancer and all, they're all going down. Well, that's kind of odd. They've been on the rise forever. So why are they going down? Because they're being diagnosed as having the thing other than what they actually died from. Which brings up another great point. Nobody passes from what's on their death certificate. They pass from kidney failure. As long as your kidneys are functioning, working, you will stay alive. When they stop, you stop. His adrenals are there too, right? Kidneys here, about the size of a walnut on top. Is, this, is the adrenals. And they distribute adrenaline, energy. So many of you are having a problem with your energy right now. You're having a kidney adrenal issue. And a heart issue. This is the major, this is the master electrical generator in the body. And we're disconnected to it because we're too much here. Or we're too much here. This burns energy. And so does this, and this, and our ability to communicate burns energy. This is the only thing that makes it. So when we're too much here and too much here, this gets restricted. 
it's a resistance and it can't function properly it's not producing the electricity or pumping the the blood that it should be and that's another thing everybody grows up learning that the heart pumps blood you know there's a whole group of doctors and scientists that believe that that's not true it pulls the blood through it pulls it instead of pumping it now why you can't do both I, I'm not sure it's got a you know I guess because they consider when it pumps it pushes it out and it pushes it through the system which is why you can have high blood pressure sometimes because things are so tight so condensed in our bodies that the heart has to pump harder to get the blood through or pull it or whatever you know, there's an opposite for everything the medical system has told us. Created by the medical system that told us. Do you know there is a, a medical branch of modern medicine? That's all they do is lymphatic. But they're not mainstream in the medical system. So don't think that they don't know. I was talking to a man the other day that had uh, his sister had passed, and he's having an issue now with uh, with cancer. And he's worried. And I said, you know, that is quite fixable. And he didn't believe it. And I said, you know, when I was a kid, him and I were about the same age. When I was a kid. Or we were a kid. They could take a cell out of anything that was alive, animal wise people, pigs, cows, sheep, dogs, whatever. They could take one cell, put it in a test tube, and grow it into an animal, into a live, living being. But they can't tell you how to fix your cell? Is that even possible? And you know how they did it? The environment that that cell lived in. As it matures, it needs different things, and they were giving it that, and they grew it into a complete animal. Alive, walking, not talking, but. They can do the same thing with human, but they can't tell you how to fix your body? Mm, I don't know, it sounds like that's a little weird to me. So we have to do it. All we need to do is learn proper hydration, nutrition, movement, rest, oxygen, opening the 13 channels of elimination. These are environments that live in our bodies. Grounding to the earth like I'm doing right now. This changes your whole, it changes your blood. All the red blood cells, they stick together when they when they when you get dehydrated. And when they stick together, they clump. And what is it what does blood that clumps do? It makes a clot. It's all dehydration. Lack of movement, nutrition, stagnation at its best. Okay, let's see if that lion's breath. I forgot about that. Okay, in through the nose, tongue out, out through the mouth, bend over. We're going to be rubbing the parasympathetic or what's known as the vagus nerve. So, <clears throat> in through the nose, out through the mouth. All the way deep down into the lungs, down into the abdomen, get that diaphragm. Expanding, that's what you want. You want expansion. Exhale. Get it all out if you can. Have any lumps or anything along the sides, just rub them. Get that area loosened up. That's what it is, it's stagnation, it's dense, it's condensed. 
around those love handles if you have them. Stomach. Yeah, you know, I think we'll uh, let's do, let's do this one. We're gonna start right here. We're just gonna start. This this is something great. This this will wake you up because we don't want to be asleep. It's time to awaken. Because the sooner we awaken, the sooner the old system crumbles and the new one starts to emerge with new leaders, leaders that are not afraid. That's what we need. These, lead these leaders are corrupt and they're weak. Not with us, but using it to control us in ways that we've never had to deal with before. And it's going to get a lot more intense, I can tell you that. And if you have a way that you want to do this, you know, I usually start with the arms, chest, down the legs, come up, do the neck. around the eyes. Rub your face. There's a lot of tension in, in faces and a lot of tension around the ears. And the neck. There's a muscle on each side. If I can show it to you or not. I'm not sure. Right here. You feel it. It's a big muscle. It goes right up in behind your ear. Okay carry a lot of tension in there so this could be very sore so be careful but you want to get a hold of that and just move it with your move it with your thumb just just you know you can rub it pinch it with your fingers both sides this will help with uh, if you have a tension headache or just keep your your head loose and stuff and you can go up here in your shoulders, right up in here. This side and this side and pinch that. You carry a lot of tension, a lot of stress up here. And this should be not tight, not tight at all. If it hurts, you can push down right on the top of this muscle that runs right here. You push right down on top of that and you'll get some. You can actually make yourself go, ow! And that's what we're going to do. We're going to break up the tension in our body, the, the density. That's what's restricting the flow of the energy, the blood, the lymph, everything. It's restricted because that's so dense. And I'll show you other spots later. Getting a little battery in here. Do this five minutes a day, all your aches and pains will go away. You do this simple thing right here. You're moving every joint in your body. If you do this 20 minutes a day, whatever's wrong with you will heal itself. Remember, the body is self regulating, self managing. Each system has its own brain. That's how it regulates itself. And it's in constant communication with the brain to figure out what it needs to produce to keep us healthy and strong, flexible, fit and fabulous, right? That's what we're all looking for, right? I want to be fit and fabulous. I want to be clear of mind, strong in constitution, aligned with myself. When you come into alignment with yourself, you'll be in alignment with the universe. Let go of who you think you are. You are not who you are trained to believe you are. We're vibration, period. One of the greatest lies 
ever told to us is that history repeats itself. Well, if the collective consciousness of the entire world has believed for a hundred years that history always repeats itself, history will always repeat itself. That's how they stay in power. They stay in power because we're manifesting what happened in history every day. Okay, I'm really getting low battery here, so. But every day, we repeat it every day. Oh my God, you know, and, and the news, the media. Well, this, this is the first time this has happened in a hundred years. This is the first time this has happened in 50 years. Do we need to know that? No, we don't need to know that. That's so that we don't step away from the idea that history repeats itself. And we carry that right here. And it's helping to close off our heart and that's the resistance that's keeping us from expanding out into the universe it's so cool so easy and the only way they can keep us from realizing that is to baffle and bullshit us with lies and deception influence us influencing us to go where they want us to go or there'll be fines, or you'll go to prison, or you'll go to jail, or you'll be in trouble. Just like school. That's the precursor. You're acting out, you're staying after school. You're doing this, you're expelled. You're doing this, you can't do that. There'll be punishment. That's the precursor you learn as a kid. And I don't want to be in trouble. I don't want to get in the... You know what? Screw them. They were brought up in the same goddamn system that their parents were brought in, and that's what they taught us. History repeats itself. You're going to be in trouble. You could get killed. You could get this. You could get that. There's going to be consequences. Well, the consequences are we're living a lie that we're influenced to live and thinking that we're free. Our freedom is choice and it's being taken away from us. The First Amendment is being cleaned off the slate right now. Your home is your castle. Nobody's supposed to be able to enter it without your permission. I mean, heaven knows, everybody knows, you never go on a boat without permission to go aboard. Same thing with your house. You don't enter somebody's house until you have permission to enter that house. I don't care who you are. That's your castle and your land. And it's being, unless we stand up, that's what I'm saying. Unless we stand up right now and we're being accountable for us in the great awakening and the faster, and it's happening faster and faster all the time, but the faster it happens, the more push there will be from the other side. And that's what we're going through is two energies colliding, creating a hurricane or a tornado or you want to call it, and it's gathering speed and it's going up and up and up. And eventually when it gets up high enough and enough whatever has been done, it'll collapse and a new world will emerge from that. So we're on the edge of the new beginning of the new world that our children will live in. And their children, probably for the next hundred years, who knows? So we need to stand up and be accountable for what we're doing right now because our children's futures depend on it. So I love you guys. I'm so happy I can do these videos. My battery's getting really low. So be strong, focused, center yourself, do your breath work. 
As a matter of fact, before I run out of battery, it might run out while I'm doing this. So let's do uh, 10 breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Hold at the top. Slow down. Nice, easy, slow, controlled breath. Just feel the tension leaving your body. Keep doing those. Don't count. Just do them. I'm just counting because, you know, I don't want to be going all day here. Hi, hey, buddies. How you doing, huh? How are you? So, yeah, the water's really high today. Let's give you an idea of, whoops, what this place is like here. Can get my shoulder out of it. Drop it down a little bit. It's beautiful here. So a lot of my videos are being done in this park. Okay. Batter bat morning. <laughs> the battery seems to be holding up pretty well right now. So anyway, love you guys. See you in the next video. Stay strong, focused, balanced. Get your breath work. Invite the energy from the universe into your body. It is the energy of the day and it loves you. It, it empowers your electrical system, that empowers your body and gets everything moving and flowing. And that's what we want. To get that clear mind and a, and a really good, strong body, you know. Okay, love you guys. See you in the next video.